Thank you for purchasing the Snow Peeler Snow Rake by Polar Made. Assembling your snow peeler usually takes 15 minutes or less. You can click on the time segments listed in the index below to find specific instructions faster. Let's take an inventory of what you'll find in the box for snow peeler. For assembling your product, we've included the following tools. One 332nd inch hex key, and one 532nd inch hex key. To assemble your snow peeler, you'll also need a 1132nd inch and a 7 16th inch wrench, or an adjustable wrench which is not provided. You'll also find assembly instructions in the box. With snow peeler, you'll find the following in the box. One cutting frame, two 9 inch braces, two glide pads, one reversible frame adapter, two slide mounting strips, one elastic strap, one 9 foot snow slide, one 5 foot frame pole, two 5 foot extension poles, one 5 foot slotted pole for the slide attachment, three quick connect snap springs, and stainless steel assembly hardware. In this section, we'll prepare the cutting frame, which involves assembling the protective glide pads and the slide. The protective glide pads provide clearance between your roof and the lower edge of the cutting frame. When mounted, the glide pads provide a clearance of two and one quarter inches. To install the glide pads, you'll use four quarter inch round head hex screws and four quarter inch nylon lock nuts. Insert the first two screws through the protective pad and into the cutting frame. Secure the lock nuts and hand tighten. Now flip the cutting frame and install the second glide pad. When tightening, ensure that the pad is aligned with the vertical edge of the cutting frame. To finish tightening the screws and lock nuts, use the 5 32nd inch hex key and the wrench. Peeler has a patented reversible cutting frame, which allows it to be configured for two applications. With the most common application, snow peeler is used while standing on the ground. The second configuration enables snow peeler to be used from the peak of the roof. For direct rooftop use, it is strongly recommended to install the 15-foot Excel slide, which is included with snow peeler premium or can be purchased separately. This dual capability is made possible by a reversible frame adapter which is milled from solid aluminum with a flat machine notch surface. For direct rooftop use, go directly to section 6 of the Snow Peeler Premium Assembly video for assembly and usage instructions. You can click directly on the link in the video description. Using gravity, the slide accelerates snowfall from your roof once the snow is cut with a cutting frame. For this step, You'll need two mounting strips, four 8 32nd inch round head hex screws, two 9 inch braces, and four 8 32nd inch nylon lock nuts. You'll start the installation by removing the Velcro strap and unrolling the slide. The slide will be mounted by aligning the four small holes and the one larger hole. First, note the orientation of the frame. The slide is installed on the lower edge of the frame on the opposite side of the tapered cutting edge. Align the mounting strip with the two holes in the slide and the cutting frame. Insert the first 8 32nd inch round head screw through the mounting strip located at the center of the cutting frame. Repeat these steps with the second mounting strip. And secure with a lock nut. For the second 8 32nd inch round head screw located near the edge of the cutting frame, insert the 9 inch brace before you secure it with a lock nut. The 9 inch brace must be located between the head of the screw and the cutting frame. To tighten the hex screws and the nylon lock nuts, you'll use the 3 32nd inch hex key and an adjustable wrench. 
Once the mounting strips are installed, perform a quick inspection. Check that all the screws are tight. This completes the assembly of the cutting frame. For this step, you'll use a reversible frame adapter and two quarter inch screws. First, position the flat surface of the reversible frame adapter inside the cutting frame while ensuring the tapered cutting edge of the frame is pointing toward the slide. You'll notice there are three holes available on the flat surface. To configure the snow peeler for the ground level application, you'll use the two bottom holes located near the center of the adapter. Align the two inner holes with the holes in the cutting frame. Screw the first quarter inch screw through the bottom of the cutting frame and into the frame adapter. Tighten by using the 5 32nd inch hex key. Now flip the cutting frame over. Move the 9 inch braces to a position that will allow you to insert the second quarter inch screw. Finish tightening the screw using the 5 32nd inch hex key. Now let's attach the frame pole to the reversible frame adapter. In this section, you'll need the 5-foot frame pole and two quarter-inch round head screws. Note the difference between the frame pole and the other three extension poles. The frame pole has two holes drilled in the end and has a consistent diameter end to end. Slide the end of the frame pole over the frame adapter aligning the two holes. Next, insert the first quarter inch round head screw through the top of the braces and into the frame pole and frame adapter. Hand tighten. Insert the second quarter inch screw directly into the frame pole and frame adapter and also hand tighten. Using the 5 32nd inch hex wrench, finish tightening both screws. We're almost finished assembling your snow peeler. In this section, We'll assemble the extension poles. The extension poles can be added one at a time to increase your total reach so that you can effectively remove snow from your roof. Each aluminum pole is five feet long. You'll notice that one end of the pole has a reduced diameter, which is inserted into the larger end of a second pole. The extension poles are held in place using quick connect snap springs. To install the snap springs, insert the angled end of the spring into the end of the pole extension that has the drilled hole. Push the spring into the pole until the snap button pops out of the hole. Push the snap button several times to make sure it moves freely. Repeat this step with the other extension poles. When using snow peeler, add extension poles only as you need them. Start with the first extension. When you need to extend your reach, add another pole. To add extensions, simply insert the end with the snap button into the wider end of the mounted pole. When you hear the click and the snap button pops through the hole, the pole is properly connected. Note that one of the extension poles has an additional hole on the reverse side. This extension pole is used to attach the elastic strap to the slide. Congratulations! you finished assembling your snow peeler. When you store your snow peeler, it's recommended to roll the slide and use a Velcro strap to secure it to the frame. For more information on the assembly and use of your snow peeler, please visit our website at PolarMade.com.